welcome to day two of Harry Potter week. Um, so we created our own magical witch and wizard yesterday, okay? And I was Miss Lucinda Featherly. And um, so today, of course, you can't be a witch and a wizard if you don't have a wand. So we're going to create our own wand today, all right? So, you have to, I have provided you with yarn uh, to decorate your wand with, but you can use anything from around your house to decorate your wand and create it however you want it to be, but you are required to go out into your yard and pick your own stick, because if you remember correctly in Harry Potter, the wood and the core of the wand was what made it so magical. So, I actually chose my stick from my rose bush um, because I'm a girl and the core of this is roses and roses are about love and I love everything and <laughs> I'm going to decorate it with my favorite color which is purple just like my robe and some other twine that kind of reminded me of uh, the twine that they that was on their wands in Harry Potter, which I have also supplied you all with some colored yarn and some basic yarn. So all you're going to need is a stick, your yarn, and some scissors. Um, you may need some glue. I don't know how you're going to decorate yours, but I'm going to start mine with my purple and I'm just going to pull a big long piece off. I don't know how much I'll need. I can always add more. Okay. And I'm literally going to just tie it to the end of my stick. Hold it up here. And this is going to be super easy. But, you know, you can cast spells without one. But it makes it so much easier. And I'm going to wrap it around and tie it again. Okay, so I've just tied it to the end of my stick, and there's little, and I'm just literally going to start wrapping it around. I'm not going to do it thick, so I'm going to wrap it and wrap it, bring it up so I can make my handle. I'm just going to sit and twirl it. See how I'm building my handle on here? Yes. Have you all told anybody about your wizard self yet? Because I think it's pretty cool that we could be wizards for a week. literally going to take it and kind of space it out and loop it up. Alright. Now I'm going to retie it to the end. Loop it around like I did at the bottom. And wrap it again. I'm just going to try to tuck it down in there. So it'll stay. Alright. Then I'm going to... So this is what mine's starting to look like. It's got purple all the way up it. Right? So, I'm going to add another color to it, just because I want to add some more flair to it. And I'm only going to do this on the top part. And as you all create your wands, of, of course I want you to post pictures of everything you do. 
That way I can see if you all are actually having fun with this stuff. Because I am. So I want you all to, too. Alright. I'm going to tie this. Wrap it back around. This takes just a little bit of time. But I want you all to really think about how you want to decorate this. I know I can only provide you with so much stuff, but you can use anything from your home to decorate your wand with. Okay. I think my wand looks super cool because I'm a super cool wizard. Well, I guess I'd be a witch. I keep saying I'm a wizard, but I'm definitely a witch. I'm a female. Now, I'm just going to tuck that part in. So, it'll stay. And there's my wand. So it goes all the way down and then I have my purple handle. Okay? So this is the wand of Miss Lucinda Featherly. And it is made out of a rose bush. So post a picture of your wand when you get it created because I want to see what your all's looks like. And you have a wonderful day. Bye, guys.